Nokia phones take Android as Google makes it. There's no custom interface, no obvious attempts to put the Nokia stamp on the software. The only app added to the Nokia 2 is support, which offers help using your new phone. It's for the best that no other extras are preloaded though as there's very little free space. There's 8 gigabytes of storage, leaving just a gigabyte and change of space to actually install apps. That will get eaten up quickly. At the time of review the Nokia 2 runs Android 7.1.1, but HMD Global plans to upgrade it to 8.0 along with some Android Go downgrades. Go is a version of Android made for devices with low RAM and storage, and this phone could really do with Android Go proper. Android runs very poorly on the Nokia 2, making even basic tasks a headache. Press the home button and it can take up to 3 seconds for icons to appear on the home screen. Web pages load slowly even with a solid 4G or Wi-Fi connection. Every part of the phone runs at half speed. If that. It's a reminder that 1GB of RAM is just not enough to make an Android phone run well. It hasn't been for years. HMD Global claims performance will improve when the Nokia 2 starts using Android 8.0 with parts of Android Go, but as the core software will still be full Android, it's hard to imagine a truly dramatic change. There are other knock-on effects of the limited 1GB of RAM 2. The Nokia 2 tends to boot out background apps even if they've been cleared for background operation in the settings part of the phone. Using Podcast Addict the app regularly gets auto-suspended even if you're listening to a podcast. The same happens with Spotify. It gets irritating. Quick.